I roll, 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 roll. Yeah, look, when look, they used look. to play that shit at AUC parties. Back in the day, yeah, that was him. Um, <laughs> this is not the official introduction because we haven't started. Why yet. not? Why we not? have started. Why not? Ah, why not? Sorry, this, this is how we really are. Essentially, in the grand scheme of things, I like, I like the sound of that. Welcome back, Kev. We're at another episode of. I was gonna set the film culture podcast. It is, but it's enjoy the show podcast. It's your girl Aja. And it's your boy Kevin Kevoski Goop. How y'all doing? What is good? Aja, it's great to be back. I'm always glad to be back and I love to be back. I love being in your presence. I appreciate that. I love being in my presence too. I think it's me. So I mean and I'm a Virgo. I was gonna I mean. say you can never get no no Virgo, no man, no black man, no comp. He gonna take it there. He gonna you know what? He should. Shout out to you know, man. as the Morehouse grad I am, I will take it there. Yeah, shout you out Morehouse. I roll. <laughs> I didn't want to shout out Morehouse College today because I don't have any Morehouse apparel on, but... You were in the purple do rag. That's very Morehouse-ish. <laughs> Morehouse-ish. I like uh, that. A Morehouse Howard and FAMU alum walk into a bar. Which one says that they're an alum first of their school? The Howard alum. <laughs> 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 just saying. I'm just saying. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, Morehouse is a close second. No, they're not gonna say that. They're just gonna come in wearing the t-shirt. Nah, literally in the hat, in <laughs> the, the straw hat. hat, the straw hat for sure. <laughs> if you've been a victim of a Morehouse man who has worn the straw Morehouse alumni hat, please reach out to us at the Film Coach on Instagram. We will. I'm gonna get you right. We, whoa, we will share your story. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> anyway, let's get past that. Yes. Uh, criticizing my brothers. Anyway. Um. <laughs> How you doing today, Azra? I'm doing very well. It's another beautiful day to be black, yes and we Lord. back. Yes, Lord. And we back. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. I appear to have didn't start a timer until now, but we're probably only three minutes off. Nothing too crazy. Nothing, nothing too 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 wild. Well, um, I think we should just jump straight into it. Honestly, you know, go go nuts. We've been we've been thinking about this all day. This has been a question that's been on our mind. What rapper would you put in a 1990s decade movie? Aja. Kev, well, actually, no, I want you to say yours first because I got a piggyback that I'm gonna throw in with the movie you said okay. and who okay. and who you chose. Okay, well, if you know me, yes, then you know I love Menace to Society, and there is two rappers, yes, that I say stand out to me in my opinion that could have been in Menace to Society. Okay, and that is Twenty One Savage and King Von. Both of those men could have been in Twenty One. I mean, could have been in Menace to Society as either extras or, hear me out. Yes, Isa, you're making that face. You're making that face. <laughs> hear me out. They both have could have been Kane and O-Dog. Straight up. Vaughn being O-Dog, 21 being Kane. Oh, that should have would have been so cold, dog. That would have been. Why would you put 21 with Kane? Because out of the two, you know, Vaughn was was not sense like sense thinking like mm-hmm. you know Kane even even though Kane wasn't truly a thinker he sat back and thought a lot 21 he pondered. 21 yeah. ponders a lot you could tell yeah. that from what he tells us today and his music that he makes that he ponders he's a thinker mm-hmm. you know old dog is to crash out you know King Vaughn you know in his music he was saying that he crashing out for show boom 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 you feel me yeah <laughs> okay 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 now, them too yeah great movie that that would have been a great movie with them without them co-star them all of that to me in my opinion I'm okay just well you know me i'm a lover girl on the low oh my god on the low so you're not p you're a lover girl okay okay if we, ah! okay 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 if we gonna be ranking p's now p. born p <laughs> nowhere near her cap not him cap the one negative two <laughs> <laughs> y'all hear that you crazy just kidding. you so crazy what you doing <laughs> <laughs> on, on lover girl on the low so of course i'm gonna pick love jones like a little romantic feel i really love when Jesus rappers Christ. listen 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 i really love when rappers don't play them I love when they do something different. I love when they give us a side that we don't hear on the music. Mm-hmm. Like, I just do show, show me something else. So, I like, you know, I got to go with Yachty. Yachty. I, would, I would like to see Yachty be a Darius Love Hall. Yes. 
I yes. What? Yes. You're crazy. And then <laughs> I don't know who I would have because I think Yachty has the potential to really be like an actor. Like you know how mm-hmm. back in the day everybody was rapping and acting. I feel like he could really hone in on that skill. So him in love because seeing Yachty in a rap movie, it's like duh. Yeah, you I don't want to see that. You rap like we get that. Show and me. You, you want to see him on Lover Boy, poetic, open your heart as Yachty. Yeah. That's not too far off. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds pretty. Especially good. in a movie. That sounds and like you get be a, a good fly movie. black girl to be like. Yeah, yeah. Like, I yeah. Can, like, I can see him with like a little pretty proud, like a little yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That might that might yeah. be a banger. That yeah. might be a banger. I'm trying to tell you. That's where that's where I'm going with it. I, I would watch that. I would definitely. Like especially watch on some young like our age type of time like. Love Jones was Love Jones for that time, but like, let's get no. Or you want to see a love? You haven't even seen Love Jones. I have not seen Love Jones. She gonna watch it, y'all. Don't don't worry. We are gonna get his list. Don't situated. be mad at me, please. Don't. I just haven't seen. I'm not the type to just watch love movies. Like I don't do rom coms. I don't do comedy. You do shoot them and kill them. I mean, <laughs> shoot them and kill them. Horror, action, adventure, light comedy depends on the comedy. Oh, the, right, I watch right all there. movies. I just haven't seen Love Jones. I'm gonna just say that. We are gonna get you right. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. Okay, you got another one. Yeah. Who you going with? Um, I have. This is gonna be risky. This is risky, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna put Flo Millie and Ooh. set it off. I can see that. I can't too, cause she seemed kind of like that. tough, like yeah. not tough as in like tough, but she hard. Yeah, every woman in set it off was kind of hard. You know and what Jada Pickett not the hardest character, but right. Vivica was pretty hard. I mean, Queen Latifah. <laughs> That's hard, what I was looking at. But yeah, I'm not even gonna say it because Vivica was hard. She yeah, was like yeah, strong arm and everybody. So we taking this bank. Yeah, and you. <laughs> She was like, yeah, no. Nah, and don't dropping. you ask no question about yeah. it. Like, she knew, she got the intel. She yeah, already knew what happened. She, she knew how, she, my smarts, our manpower. She was really on it for real. Queen Latifah is like, yeah, okay. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, she hard. Don't get me wrong. I'm not yeah. saying she not hard, but Vivica was, like, small, the, hard. Like, I'm strong on every nigga. We t- we doing what we got to do. Yeah, yeah. This we money. It's, it's 100000 in the downtown yeah, federal. I, I actually see Flo Mini like a little on some Vivica Fox shit. I Ooh. can see that. Yeah. Ooh. You know how I'm going to throw in there, too? Because she's going to need some muscle. Throw Enrico Nasty. Oh, dude. I throw Enrico. That sounds like a good move. Rico and Flo. Yeah. Being some badass bitches. The masses might not know, but they could carry some K's yeah. and, and rob a bank. Yeah. And they, that would be a Just duo. them. Just as a duo. Just I them, too. Looking, like, who else could be at it? Just them two. As a duo. I, out, of, out of a lot of women in the rap game, I can't see, you know, I can't see like Nicki Minaj doing that. I can't see her robbing the bank. I'm sorry. I'm not even. Not, a, not robbing the bank. She's not robbing the bank. Nah. Because they were like, these are everyday women. These like, are everyday. You can see Rico Nasty and Flo Millie like everyday. Like, yeah. I can see them rob a bank right now. Yeah. I like, think about it. I'm, I'm rocking with it. I like the sound of that. You could actually probably, hear me out right here. This is for you. Ooh. You can see SZA and Love Jones. That's Yachty's girl. Yeah, she got that soft like. Yeah, like that little. Let me be open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. Okay. 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 That sounds like a good movie. See, I like. I like even even Met the Man. I like seeing Met the Man. Okay. I'm sorry. Girl, I'm sorry. I try to go to Wu Tang, and I'm not a. I know a little bit of Wu Tang. Cash rules everything around me. Green, get the money. And all, and all the, that's really a nigga anthem. I'm sorry. Like, cash yeah. rules everything. That's that's it. That's the goal. That is the goal. Like, let's 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 get into it. I like that it. Fits. So, if we had to choose the greatest hip hop movie of all time, rap, in, easy, rap inspired, rap music, all in it, rappers in it. Like, we got a couple options. Which one you picking? We got Juice, we're gonna do the right thing. Go house party boys in the hood on the low. On the low. Would you, quick question, would you put Poetic Justice in that? Is that not a hip hop movie? I mean, we got two kind of hip hop stars. Is Janet Jackson not a hip hop star? Chill out. Is she a pop star? She's a pop star. Yeah. Okay. Hip hop and pop. Well, but no sense, Tupac a rap star. Yeah, of course. We can put Poetic Justice on there. I'm not, I'm never anti Janet Jackson. I just want that to be known. Whatever she do, I do. Type shit, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with Juice. Why yeah, you say I'm, Juice? I'm gonna go with Juice for sure. Okay. I'm gonna go with Juice because, well, I mean, 
the acting display by Tupac is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And Omar Epps. Talk about a lead. It's like talking about leads. all around. No, literally, it's two leads. And they're leading, probably, like, they're leading. Not even, they're not even supporting off of each other. They're playing like a little chase. It's like two separate mo- Like, you would start here, I'm going to start here, and we battling the whole movie. Not in a bad way, but like, but like who's going to win? It's like, like a cop and robber chase. Yeah. You know? like 40, at 45 minute mark, you're looking like, wait a second. So either you're going to listen to me, or I'm going to kick. Like, that's yeah. insane. And then at this point, you know, Bishop. Tupac has then already killed his partner, and he's trying to get all his other partners. Like, I mean, at this point, that just... that was the name of the game for him. If he he his whole motive was to rob the little bar that they was at. He was so upset that he didn't kill everybody in the bar. Like, literally, like his homeboy. So he was down bad from the jump. He was. There's no redemption in that story. Yeah, I it, rock with it, but it's no, it's hip hop. He was DJing. He, hey, Queen Latifah was in that movie. Being the judge of the DJ yes. competition. Yes, the legend. Dang, that's real hip hop. That's real Clint iconic Tifa, about Omar Tupac. and that big boy. He, You know, his pot he he just find out that his partner killing people and he over there trying to DJ looking at him like He's wow. trying to get his future started. He trying to make a name for himself in two pockets. He, all he wanna do is wield the gun all around the city. That's his only goal, the entire film. It's crazy. I feel bad for those guys, but I mean at the end of the day, man. My boy Q get out alive, and that's all that matters. I mean, if you didn't see the movie at this point, then I don't know what to tell you. But my dog Q <laughs> get out the movie alive. You know, Bishop he comes to his demise because mm-hmm. I mean, well, I mean, you no choice. Like, man, power power can only take you so far. I mean, yeah. the bullets only had so many in that chamber. The the gun that he got from somebody that wasn't even his. It wasn't like he had to connect to the guns. He was getting guns from other people. It ain't literally. Like, <laughs> he was not made for this life. He might as well just gave it up when he did. No doubt. Not just said poetic justice. Uh oh. All right, no, I'm I'm sticking my original because yes, Point Just is a is a hip hop movie. Tupac is in it. F- freaking uh, uh, Q Tip from a tribe called Quest is in it. Like that's a hip hop movie. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna go with House Party. I'm House Party. House Party, best hip hop movie. Dancing, you got Kid and Play, who two of the biggest rappers in the world, and then they weren't even supposed to be in the movie. It was supposed to be Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff. They're supposed to be. Yeah. Bro, you did not tell me that. We sat there and we watched like three to four house parties back to back. And you just now telling me that? My fault, pimp. But you got to think. Will, <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith had got Fresh Prince at the same time. So it's like, okay, do we do Fresh Prince or do we do house party? I mean, it worked out. It definitely did work out. Imagine if the roles were switched and we would be seeing Kid and Play in Bel Air. Kid and Play in Bel Air. Nah, I'd be dun, nasty. Dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't even know who Will Smith is. Kid and Play in Bel Air. He already stopped. Mm. Nah, nah. That would have been weak sauce 5,000. See, yeah, it worked out. Kid and, yeah, they were supposed to be a uh, Will and Jazz. Yeah, it worked out. But I say House Party, man, that's like a real teen movie. Like, sneaking out the house, these two rappers, we going to a party, everybody dancing. They literally grabbed mics at the party and started rapping. If a nigga grabbed a mic right now at the party and started freestyling, what you doing? <laughs> Dog, I ain't gonna lie. What you doing? I'm judging hard. I'm yeah, hating. Yeah. I'm hate good or bad. I'm gonna start hating because first of all, you didn't took the vibe of the party, and now you in this bitch like. So we rapping. can hear your music. What? Boy, if you're not on no billboard, you better not grab that mic at this house. Party. If, th- if this song ain't circulating throughout the hood and everybody listening to it and know it's the one, it's song got to be the one. I'm gonna tell you like this here. If one, you're not on the billboards. Okay. Two. If you if this music that you are producing or making if this is not known to make the hoes throw ass don't play it and three just don't get on the mic yeah I don't care who yeah. you is I mean if you not yeah. mainstream if you not nobody who everybody in the function gonna know yeah you don't want to hear it I I agree if you grab the mic at the party just get I'm I'll, sorry it has to be a hit. that ass music yeah. or like. Mosh music, or you just bring it up. You getting on the mic to introduce Drake to come out, yeah, or something like. <laughs> other than, other than that, bro, don't don't kill the vibe. Don't mess. Don't it up. kill it. Don't be that guy, dog. Not a fan, but I mean, it was dancing. We don't dance no but more. House party could have did that because it's the nineties. I mean, oh, that's the only time they thought MCs were goddamn wizards. I mean, yeah, they wanted to hear the. 
uh, I, I don't even know how to rap. If like you want to scream, put your hands up. Yeah. I woke up this morning, half past nine. Then I got on the bus. It was so divine. Then I walked to the building and I stumped my feet and I said, "Hey, I'm on the street." Ah. You feel me? That's now? yeah. No, somebody scream. Woo. I mean, it's lit, but put the mu- put the put the music back on. Please play it, play it again. And we need to we need to bring back dancing. Y'all, we need to bring she, back. She be saying this. I really do. We need to bring back dancing. We need to bring back up tempo, hip hop, and R and B. Everybody be in the club. It be sad. I don't think it's sad and depressing. And I love the music we have out today, a hundred ten percent. But I want I want to dance again. Like I want to be. I in 05 and 06 when I was watching all the music videos. Everybody in the club. Everybody was dancing. I was a child then. I'm grown now. I wanted to see that. I wanted to be that. We ain't dance. Let's bring 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 back dancing. That's how I feel. We don't dance in the club. I mean, I ain't got no problem dancing, but we are not dancing in the club. Like when I we ain't got to dance like house party. We don't. We ain't got to. But we need to at least like you know like, little, you know yeah. Catch a vibe. Catch Anybody a vibe. catching vibe? We on the phone on Instagram. Nowadays niggas in the club, we ain't catching a vibe. Like no. And shit, the ho- these hoes ain't got no rhythm. Nah. <laughs> I ain't gonna, uh, <laughs> that just said because you mad. <laughs> Hi. Mm. <laughs> I mean, fuck. I mean, shit. I ain't we want, ain't got no music to dance to. I ain't want if that's my, your, if I ain't that's want, your statement. No, I ain't want my niggas to take the heat for this because we not dancing. But I'm just gonna say, ha. <laughs> women ain't got fault. no rhythm. It's yeah. women's fault. It's not because the women. It's the music. It's the women can dance to R and B, but men is like you gotta you gotta look a little stupid. Men, no. in, men in the 80s and 90s, when they danced to R&B, they look stupid. Yeah, well, like, come yeah. on, but you're not taking no niggas serious. I didn't say do. I'm saying just vibe and just, you can do a little two-step. Two-stepping is enough. You don't need to, yeah. I don't need the whole choreo in the club. Unless it's we, like, really getting it in and it's one of them type of, if we just dance club, if we had the club, the gangsters and the, the white folks gangsters in the club club, no, we need to, just a little vibe, turn the music on, or dance to the beat of the music. If it's up-tempo, yeah, we get crunk. But if it's slow, we... See, y'all heard what she just said? Did y'all hear what, get crunk? That's not what we trying to do. I mean, crunk went, crunk went crazy. I'll though. start break dancing in the club. That's the <laughs> point. I can't get crunk, but you can break. <laughs> you know, Not literally. You know how much space you need to break. <laughs> and I'll get that space in the front. You need zone. this much space to get crunk. You need this much space to break dance, cause it's just hard to take niggas serious when niggas is <laughs> dancing. Honestly, that's the problem. Niggas nowadays just don't want to dance. Nothing wrong with it. I understand, <laughs> but I'm a dance. I'm a dance. I'm Cause I feel like the women are looking at the niggas who are dancing. Sometimes. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, cause you having a good time. You enjoy, you yeah, dancing, you're enjoying she, yourself. She looking like, oh, that nigga dancing. Girl, yeah. look at that nigga. Like, he ah. got a good personality. He fun. He, He's funny. Yeah, like, off the rip, you kind of goofy. Exactly. That nigga dancing in the club. You cause know? you're not finna. I'm approaching the dancing nigga before I'm approaching the nigga who just. Post it oh, up. Yeah. Hey. Cause you you got good energy. You yeah. Okay. You fun. nod your head to the music, but. I see if you me. when you get out there, you show me you can. I don't care if it's that's you have fun. See, that's why I love going to like parties and clubs with my female partners because we gonna be dancing. And if I start dancing, dancing, she gonna hype me up. I'm like, hey, 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 and I'm like, ooh, ooh, hold on, chill out, chill out, chill out. But that's the whole point. Niggas just don't want to dance. Let's bring, bring, bring dancing back. That's all I have to say. We have house party. I'm going to house party. Um, <laughs> talking about dancing. That's fine. <laughs> But that's how much you know people really want to do it again. Like, yeah, <laughs> niggas, niggas actually miss dancing. We want to dance, y'all. If you, man, that early two thousands, that that was it, dancing. I remember those days, and that diaper dancing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> y'all hear that? My crunk crunk juice. Because you get crunk, exact. Chris Brown when he was crumping and doing. You ain't never wanted to, were you that era? What 90s dancing? movie had, could Chris Brown have been in? What, in the 90s? Chris Brown was about, what, 20? I mean, not 20. He, he was like 18 in 2003. Chris Brown was all of two, three, four, five, six, seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> How old he is now? Like 33? 30, yeah, early 30s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was young. Huh? Let me say it. Yeah, they were all the same age. Yeah, yeah, so Drake I, can't be in no movie. Together. Drake can't be in no movie. I couldn't see you drinking no damn '90s movie. Were no light skin movie stars. Nah, no, they wouldn't have took them serious. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Terrence Howard, but Terrence Howard was in like 
Terrence man. Howard is like a real pedo. Yeah, like, Terrence like, Howard is a he like a slick ass. Main, yeah, he, he could be a main. con artist ass nigga. He looking like yeah. con artist, smooth nigga, horrible nigga. Yeah, that's it. Them three right there is really all he needed though to 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 make to go millions crazy. and just be known forever as an actor. It would be a legend. Yeah, didn't take much for him. No, but he's good, so that's why he's unbelievable. You're like Terrence Howard is a wild man. Yeah, actually, Chris or Drake. No, I think you said Chris or Drake. No. I mean, Chris did his thing in something to guard. All of seven minutes he was in that film. That's like a 2000, what, seven, six movie? Seven. Yeah. Shout out Will Packer. Um, Chris Brown could have been. A 90s movie? He could have been a house party. I was going to say, it's probably the only thing, just dancing. He would have been on the floor. Kid walk up like, what's up, Chris? He's like, what's up, kid? Hey man. Yeah, he dab him off. He crunk. And he gets crunk with Tisha and the other girl. Shireen. Yeah. Shireen. Sydney and Shireen. Sydney and Shireen. Who you picking, Sydney or Shireen? Ah, she hit me with a good one. You can't. You got a kid was trying to get both. You can't have both. Why you can't? Next question. Um, I would have. <laughs> I probably would have picking. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to be taking that long. Ah! I feel like I know who you're gonna pick. Who? Just say who you're gonna pick. <laughs> no, I, I it's a it's a lame the... choice if that's who you're gonna pick. Nah. It's not lame. It's just whoa. Yeah, you can't call my choice lame. Okay, now we're who... dragging out the question. I probably say, I probably say Shireen. You, Shireen? <laughs> yeah, I I see that Shireen fits. Like she's Shireen. a little pee. She was a Mac. She, Ooh. she was trying to mag playing the field. She yeah, had them she, all. yeah, that was actually kind of attractive. She but, no, she had kid by his yeah collar. She couldn't do me like that, but yeah, I did like Sydney because Sydney was kind of on the same time. Sydney was really woke. She was hip to the game because she saw how kid was moving. She was alert to everything. It wasn't like kid was this big player now. That's also very true. Kid was in no. He was really way, goofy. He was goofy even when he thought he had Shireen. Yeah. He was, uh, you want me to uh, hold your coat for you? <laughs> <laughs> Looking ass nigga. Kid was never like, he was he's not playing. He, play was smooth. What's up, babe? Come dance with me real quick. Like That's, Face, that's smooth. Yeah, yeah. That's all it took for you. It start. I mean, she also wanted to dance. But Kid wanted to dance with her. And Kid, they said switch and they broke up. Like, what? <laughs> Come here, Sydney. Come here, Shireen. Like, he didn't know what. To, he was upstairs he, trying to get Shireen. Came back downstairs. All of a sudden, he wanted Sydney. Yeah, he didn't know what he was doing. He was a young nigga for sure. Not P. Not P. His daddy whooped his ass when he got home. Not P. Not P. And he got the ass when he got home. Not nigga went to jail. P. He, ain't, he, he had a decent night. That's a lit night, though. Lit, yeah. Ass whooping? Nah. 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 Oh, I like that. Now. <clears throat> yes, sir. Part of this list. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we have we have some lists for your ass. Y'all gonna like these lists. No, see, we're talking about two different lists. What list are we talking about? Best musical biopic. Hmm. It's a lot. And let me just shout out the talent of black people. Because... It's black people born 20, 30 generations from the people they're portraying in these films and in mm. these movies and TV shows. And they killing it. They killing it. It's some, it's some like, shooting a movie and stuff is hard anyway. But mm-hmm. a biopic where you, everything has to be a time period and it has to be specific because it's real life, that's hard to do and recreate. But I think it's not my favorite, but it's definitely maybe top five biopics of all time. I'm going New Edition. New Edition Story. On BT, when that dropped, it set the everybody and their mama watched it. Everybody loved New Edition. They got all the hits. If they look like the men, dance like the men. <coughs> yes, sir. And I hate to be that brother. Yes, sir. I did not see New Edition. And that took my that took my city by storm. I'm talking about everybody. That's what I'm saying. Was, everybody, <laughs> mama seen new edition. Everybody, Kev. everybody was in the routine at parties that we was at. I'm talking about golly. I'm if looking. you didn't learn the the steps to if it is in love, why does it feel this way? 
Okay. Why did see, she yeah. Stay uh-huh. on I didn't see my the documentary. Mind. I felt like, look, I'm, since we're she's talking about that, I'm just gonna jump yes. into it. Yes. My all time favorite was the Jackson Five, the American Dream. That's a classic. I love the Jackson Five because. <clears throat> I'll be there, don't you know, baby? You, I'll be there. That's my shit. I love Little Michael. You know, <laughs> I love Michael Jackson. And them. That, that was my shit. That whole movie was amazing. From three days. It's finish. three days long, but God it's, damn, it's that's, fantastic. That's why I don't watch music do- biopics no more, though. Is I don't long? care much about the musical aspect to watch that. Like, what part we, do you like? That's like yo. That makes you love him. Probably that part right before they blow up, Ooh. like uh, eight months before you blow up, yeah. when they, like shits really start moving, and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you yeah. don't know it yet, but you've like, seen all that struggle. Four hundred thousand people love you, and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> they just walk around like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then that one person's like, hey, I heard you song, your songs on the radio. You're amazing. Or they'll come into it with like another celebrity and they'll be like, that's when I knew I was famous. When mm-hmm. goddamn Princess Diana told me she loved my album. Right. Nigga, what? You went, you was hungry. Like. Three months ago. I know you're talking about throwback. No, not throwback what? biopics, but I'm talking about like the, the recent Kanye one. I haven't watched the third episode. I think there's only three. I'm on mm-hmm. the second and the second is the best, but I had somebody I was with had was watching the third one kind of spoiled it for me, but I saw that this was like more modern Kanye. <laughs> I love Kanye in general, but watching the rise, the rise is was the best artwork was beautiful. Yeah. Artistry just looks phenomenal. And then, but knowing like that they get present, they did not, did not satisfy. It's me. like you seen all that good happening. And then it's like, ah, don't, it's not not to say it's not good, but it's also like you know there was a moment where it's like it was turn the page. You know you went. You know, yeah, let's skip this. Let's yeah. try to skip this at least, please, yeah. if we can. Like please, Didn't somebody check on Kanye. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that that one of my favorite parts from that was when they brought Jamie Fox in, and this is right. Fox gonna tell a story. Now. This is right after I think he met with Pharrell, and Pharrell was like, "Man, this man is the truth," and then he brings Jamie Fox in, and then boom, next thing you know. You bring Ludacris in, the next thing you know, it's like, wow. Like, All these stars. Literally. Star, like, they were young, but they were, like, I guess to us. To we us. look at them, and we're like, you made this song. Yeah. You did this movie. You are known for, like. For too many different things. For art. Now. And it's just like, it, it travels the entire world. And it's just, you stay know, there. I, I give that was you a great one. musical biopic, for sure. It was a cool five, five, five dot. And then, you know, you see Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, okay. You talking about? I'm like, what? It's only one I could be talking. Okay, about. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? I think about like the movie. Yeah. With Ice Cube's son. Yeah. Okay, facts, 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 facts. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that like 2015. I saw that. Hard. It was so back hard. in the day for sure. I definitely saw that when it first came out. I saw it like twice, three times. It was good. The movie was big. Yeah, the nigga played Dr. Dre was a good actor. I didn't think a lot of the only person I thought looked like the actors were. Suge Knight. Oh, oh Suge Knight too. Yeah, that nigga that played Suge Knight looked Bro, like Suge, Suge Knight. Knight was a yeah, monster crazy. Truck. That was insane. That movie was good too. That's a good it biopic. Was a, yeah, it was a good like visual. You seen everything yeah. how they dressed, the type of liquor they was drinking, the world like, that they changed. Yeah, that's that like that rise and that, that is influ- it's the influence that's yeah, like you from this crazy. one city and the shit you seen and say has traveled the entire world and everybody and their mama has everybody taking on grandma dressing like you buying the album and they bought the album and the white people was mad and they was stepping on the album and Ice Cube was looking out the window he was like no I think it was easy he was like I don't care they bought some shits and I was like you know what that's how you know you hard <laughs> the check done clear baby <laughs> now Kev I got a I got a question for you you know verses be going on yeah, I love verses. And know. they be doing, you know, we we had some great some great verses, some Versi, the pet, of course. Yeah, some great Versi these past two years. Uh, I don't got a personal favorite. I think I like Gladys Knight when she went with a uh, Patty Labelle. I'm not a, I, I'm not from a uh, New York City, but I appreciate how the locks and who who's they go against Cameron and them. What are you talking about? Versus Dipset. <laughs> they was uh, <laughs> they they brought uh, the energy was there, the energy was there. But if we did a TV movie film black people type versus, and we did Will Smith 
versus Idris Elba in a versus. Yeah. Who you no, picking? No, no, no. Let's start that over. We did Will Smith. Yeah. In Idris Elba. Yeah. In a versus. Oof. Now let me say this right now. <clears throat> These are two all pro, all star, all American Woo-hoo. black male actors. Yes. They up there. They them. They're the crim, the crim. You know what I mean? For real, they them. Heems. <laughs> two heems. And Ozzy just asked me who I'm going to pick. Who I'm going to pick between the two. I don't know who I'm picking. But that's the thing. They have they have hits. Like It's not like we're talking about just... We're talking about people with hits. Will Smith, Fresh Prince of... I mean, having a hit TV show is just... That's you. That's your... What, your name, your, bread your face. And butter. That's you. But then you go hit movies. He got... I was going to say Barbershop. He was not in Barbershop. Bad Boys... I Black. robot. <laughs> I am legend. Pursuit of Happiness, my favorite. I think it's my favorite Will Smith movie. Pursuit of Happiness. He got you know Hancock, Ooh. Shark Tale, Ooh. Hitch. Ooh, I'm a I'm a, I'm a fan, but you know we go to Idris. They got Independence Day. I mean, Will Smith was out there killing aliens. Will Smith said his daddy was like, I I'm not you know you my son, you my little junior. I'm not gonna call you Mr. Smith, something like that. His daddy said when he saw the numbers for Independence Day, when them box office numbers came back, he called him and said, well, Mr. Smith, I see you taking over the world or something. He said something like that. Like, them Dude. numbers were crazy, bro. Cra- like, Will Smith, he solidified himself. Music, movie. Will Smith was in ATL? He uh, executive produced ATL. So, uh, I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know Will yeah. Smith produced, executive produced. Yeah. Yeah. ATL. What, what do you know about that? Dude. The little orange thing in the beginning of the movie, that's his uh, production company. You know how the wheel be spinning? Overbrook, that's him. Check Will out. Yeah. Finish what you were saying about Idris, please. No, no, no. I was just going to say, Will has some hits. But Idris got some hits, too. Oh. Idris does have some, some, hits, some hits. My bad. Now, I know you're a big fan of I'm the wire. Go ahead, go ahead. I just want to see. Idris got the wire. The wire versus Stringer Prince. Bell. Shout out Lil Wayne. You said, <laughs> and they all on my wire like Stringer Bell. I said that out of tune. That's but his character name? Yeah, Stringer Bell. That's okay. a hard name. I know it was real. <sighs> Don't even get me started. So you going Fresh Prince versus Stringer Bell? Who winning? Fresh Prince. Because I've seen Fresh Prince okay, in like okay. 2004. He hard. In a trailer, I watched like six seasons. Yeah, locked in, just watching yeah. Fresh Prince on DVD. So okay, I give you that one. But let's say we go, we go a little something like this. What if we uh, we did Takers versus Bad Boys Two? I'm go Bad Boys Two. I hate to be that guy. I haven't seen Takers okay, in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. No, Bad no. Boys Two is a classic. Yeah, I give you Bad Boys Two. Now let's say like, mm-hmm. hear me. I'm gonna go Obsessed versus. Hancock. You want me to pick Beyonce over? I mean, you want me to pick somebody else over Beyonce? <laughs> you funny because I, I know what no, you no, were no, no. say. Yeah, I was trying to mess it up. <laughs> I'm picking up Seth, bro. <laughs> no, no questions asked. Okay, what if we go like this? We go in King Richard. <laughs> okay. King Richard versus. Don't say it. Daddy, what you can say, Daddy's little girl? Yeah, of course. I'm going Daddy's little girl for 200. Come cause. on, black black fatherhood. Why are you picking Daddy's little girls, Gabrielle? Union? Hear this though. You said it's um, funny. It's got some hits. You said great. Will Smith mm-hmm. and Shark Tales. Mm-hmm. Idris Elba in Finding Dory. He was in Finding Dory. Yeah. Are you serious? He was. So I got to pick between Shark Tales and Finding Dory. Oof. Are you kidding? I'm picking Shark Tales, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm picking Shark Tales. Door was good, though. I actually yeah, seen it. Yeah, yeah. When he was playing at the car wash and he was cleaning the whale or the shark, and I like how they got all in his teeth, and you saw the barnacles, and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That was a cold part. That was a cold part. <laughs> nah, Will Smith, I mean, his Oscar, his old lady in that, that red fish, Boy, she was fine. Who was the lady? Do you know the actress? She was fine. Was it Eva Mendes? I don't know. No, that might be. No, Eva, she was in Hitch. Eva was in Hitch. Oh yeah, she. Ah, oh, you brought up Hitch. His is a great banger by Will okay, Smith. Okay, okay. So. You picking Hitch or you picking This Christmas? Chill. Don't put that in the same category. Okay, okay. What about Pursuit of Happiness This Christmas? Because he he don't really. That's not the family movie unless you do I Robot. But Willow was in that movie for like all the time. Well, since you said that, I'm gonna say uh, This Christmas over, over Pursuit of Happiness. Okay. 
this Christmas is a feel good movie. Pursuit of Happiness yeah, isn't a feel isn't a feel good movie to like the last twenty five minutes when things He's actually resolve. Through. Like finally, finally he made that big break and we can actually like be happy and eat good and live right. When he was in a subway. Last 25 minutes, like, golly, this Christmas is like, okay, this is a good family. They're going through their yeah. ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they can get it together. My favorite part of this Christmas, she went to nigga ass the baby boy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm she was so proud. docile. Now she wasn't docile, but she was just like, her sister trying to tell her, girl, that nigga, he wrong. He doing you wrong. And she was like, oh, my family and she gonna take care of the family. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just say it right now. Go crazy. It just Elba's the better actor between him and Will Smith, and I I said that right now on podcast documented documentation. Write I write it down to, you know, <laughs> because Idris can hit way more ranges than Will Smith, and he can actually be a star mm-hmm. and a role player mm-hmm. in any system. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? In any Duo, system. Group, Will one-on-one. Smith is like, I need to be the star. I need to be the big playmaker. I need the ball in my hands. Oh, right. It's just like, okay, you could. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> anyway. So? Shut, shut up. Okay. Not now. Not now. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Will Smith, <laughs> as I said again, he needs to play. He needs the ball in every moment. Yeah, he's a star. Yeah, but Idris is like, look, you can pass it to me and I'll pass it back. Will is like, you pass it to me, I'm keeping it. I'm talking about I need seven minutes straight camera time just for this <laughs> scene right now. 52 points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just, it just looking like, look, the camera call on me for already. two minutes. Yeah. It called me when y'all ready. I'll come walk into the camera and walk out. With his British arch. Literally with a little shoulder. Hello, mate. You feel <laughs> me? I like, love it. And I, 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 what really helped me lock it in mm-hmm. is American Gangster. Okay. In American Gangster... It just plays a gangster, obviously. He is, you know, a capo. Um, and fast forward a little bit. Him and Denzel have beef. He plays with Denzel. You know, he joses off of Denzel. Denzel kill him? Yes. Is that, the, is that the infamous? He plays with Denzel. Denzel blows up. Mm-hmm. Full circle moment. Denzel tells it just like, hey, man, <laughs> you, you know, you owe me bread 10%. I need that. I need my money on time. What movie is that from? Um, I need my money on time. I need my money on time. She got me. I mean, I was in the middle of my statement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What movie is it? ATL. I was in the middle of processing my own thoughts. So let's not tally that <laughs> against me. That. Um, and then, you know, Denzel confronts Idris. Mm-hmm. Denzel then shoots Idris in the face in front of a crowd of at least 45 people on the street, broad daylight, and nobody snitches on him. He liked that. That's a movie moment for both of them. He liked yeah. Both of them. I yeah. mean, Idris, you got killed by Denzel. And like you you was retaliating with Denzel. Like you was trying to bitch him and then he come back. He's like, whoa. Idris, you gotta go, dog. And then you know that's beautiful. That. Like Will that. Smith would have tried to do some emotional <laughs> moment. Would have been crying. He would try, <laughs> try to fight Denzel with the gun. You know, it just kind of just got. Bro, the gun, shot. the gun would have never went off. Yeah. Messing around with Will Smith, the gun would have never went off, and a woman would have been involved, and Will Smith would have been crying. Yeah. Trying to fight him. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. It, just, it wouldn't have been as. It was a good matchup. It was a good matchup. Yeah, it just knows how to take an L. Ooh we. Like he's a, he, he he'll can, start the movie off with L. Him exactly. <laughs> it just it just could be your hero and your villain. Will yeah. Smith is more so like I gotta be the hero. Hancock, he's looking at he the as he's the looking at the director like, hey bro, I gotta be I gotta the hero. Win. Like I gotta, I, gotta I gotta win. I can't lose this battle. It just like mate, I don't really care for the outcome of this battle. But if if I were to lose, I would not be mad about it. I would not be opposed. You know what I'm saying? He, to, to, the, to the ideas that we come up with as a collective. I'm just trying to complete this assignment and progress of what we're going here and make a movie. Real talk. Will Smith is like, I don't know, man. I, 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 I can't lose. And it's like, Will. Will Smith couldn't be in this Christmas. He couldn't. He, used to, he would have been trying to be goofy in this Christmas. He would have been Joe. He would have been the Red Divine. He had to save the family some type of way. Yeah. It just El- Elba could start the movie off getting his ass whooped playing the guitar and go home to his mama. Like literally, yeah. Will Smith can't do like, that. He can't. That's not going down. He can't. He, he, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm no, just saying. That's just. And that's, it come down to it, the ranges are different. Because I'm taking Idris because the range he can meet 
he can meet him any movie that I try to make. Man. Will Smith, I have to tailor a certain type of movie around. He him. always cool. Will Smith, Bad Boys too. He was cool. Yeah, he was the coolest in Bad Boys too. Yeah, you know, cool than Martin Lawrence. I mean, Martin Lawrence was the comedian aspect. He was a dad, and yeah, he's a dad. He stay at home. Will Smith is the the single playboy, <laughs> smashing everybody. Martin was like, I, I got kids at the house. I got a wife. We got things we need to do. Literally, got this, this I'm driving a minivan. Okay. And Will, you over there driving in the a Ferrari. Van. Like, yeah, he's driving a Ferrari. Martin does shut up the dashboard on the Ferrari. Yeah. If you're a real Bad Boys 2 fan, you know what I'm saying? You know. Hey. Women versus. I know you had a. I think you had a, a battle or a matchup ready for mm-hmm. that. I didn't want to just throw it out on the spot. Which one, we gonna, which one you want to go with? Because we got some heavy hitters. On I actually team. want you to surprise me. I'm going to let you select. Yeah. But this is, you know, this is our inaugural, so I wanted to. You want to hit? I wanted to hit. They, I feel like they're not gonna know who to pick between Idris and Will, unless you're really thinking. Because don't get me wrong, Will made movies that Idris hasn't made. Oh, for sure. I wrote about an I am legend. Idris never had all of that spotlight on him. Yeah, yeah. like Idris never had that spotlight that whole, truly on 190 him. hundred ninety page script was just lines for Will Smith. I don't know. <laughs> Will Smith. Will Smith was Gemini man. Like Will Smith was trying to kill himself in a movie. He gets points for that. Yeah, and then he did Bright. There's no points for that. I'm just saying he did Bright. I'm not gonna lie. Last Will Smith movie I seen was probably like, if we're going to list the years, probably Pursuit of Happiness. Don't tell nobody that. I won't. Just our fans. But um. <laughs> I will say this: Will Smith cannot play Stringer Bell in The Wire. So I mean, I'm not trying to be the advocate Could for Idris. Idris play, but I pick Idris, but it just yeah, I'm Idris. I'm going Idris. Could Idris play Fresh Prince? No. No. Nah. Not a I chance. Think that Fresh Prince is Will Smith. Yeah, that's, that's Will. Will no, that will forever be Will. That's not Bel Air. That's not that new guy. I mean, that's Will Smith. I like Bel Air too. It's you like Bel Air too. <laughs> okay. And then I will, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but Idris and Will Smith have played the same role in um what? What is it? Bloodsport as uh in the Suicide Squad. Oh yeah. So do what you want with that information. Ah! Okay, Kevin. Since we're going heavy hitters, I think we should just go with heavy hitters. Mm-hmm. These women have literally been in the game for quite a while. Okay, heavy hitters. Boom. Pound for pound. Let's go. Well, since we started with Will, we might as well do Halle Berry versus Jada Pinkett Smith. Whoa. Movie versus. <laughs> Movie versus. I will say that's not the hardest one on this Which list. So no, hard? we can't oh, say yeah, that. No, 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 we have to. We oh, yeah, have yeah. to now. Yeah, you're right, because we got some heavy guys. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Okay. She was. And Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada got some hits. Let's not play. Let's not play. Jada got a different world. I'm going to list Jada's. I know more. I think I feel like I know more Jada Pinkett Smith movies than Halle Berry movies. You do. Yeah. She got she got a different world TV show. You on the TV show as a regular? That's major. Major. You get points for and that. you young, you know what I'm saying? Then she went from a different world to Menace. Ron. Ron. Play Ronnie. Then she did Set It Off. Set It Off in his mother. Set do you think Holly Berry could have been a set off? No. Holly Berry too soft. She like SZA. Scissor and Summer Walker. <laughs> She's like... But Jada from Baltimore, so she got that edge. Yeah, she she got that edge. Hey, yo, dummy. Yeah. That's how they sound. They were like, yo, dummy. <laughs> Chew, do, boo, hoo, snoo, noo, hmm. Boo. Hmm. Uh, she did Woo. She did She did a Spike Lee movie, Bamboozled. Girl Strip. She was in The Matrix. That's big. I haven't seen The Matrix, but I know people enjoy it. It's a great franchise. Man, between Girl Strip set it off in minutes, I don't need much else. She kind she kind of did it right though. That's how you feel. Minutes and set it off. Those are two bangers. Those are two <laughs> what? bangers. But Halle Berry, she, Boomerang. How, no, Halle Berry did Catwoman. No, don't make that face. Jada Pinkett, Jada Pinkett can't guys. be Catwoman. And you don't the, think so? Hell no. Jada Pinkett not no main character like that. How she was, ooh, she was also in a low down dirty shame. You tripping? That's not Catwoman. That's funny though. Catwoman is damn near a super villain. I haven't. I can't comment. I haven't. She seen can't Catwoman. comment that, but I know superheroes <laughs> are super villains, and, and Holly Berry being Catwoman is damn near epic. It, no, it, I'm not saying it ain't. No, she's not saying. Yeah, that yeah, 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 for sure, for but, sure, sure. But, 
I'm just saying Jada can't do that. You think Halle Berry can be in the Matrix? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm glad you and I'm glad you said yeah because she. Can't. I haven't even seen the Matrix, but I. You I never I, seen the Matrix. Guys, Kev. No. I told you my list of white movies I've seen. Matrix not even a white movie. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. It is. <laughs> Get off of that. Um, Halle Berry could definitely be in the Matrix. Okay. You think Halle Berry? Do you think Jada Pinkett Smith can be Storm from X Men? I haven't. Superhero movie. I haven't seen. Ah, uh, she hasn't seen X Men. But I'm gonna tell you like this. No. That's like with the hair and the yeah, controlling the, the motherfucking. That's not her vibe. I don't think it's not. Mm-hmm. And she can't. She can't. But do you think Halle Berry can be in Manchester Society? No. Why not? She not. Cut like Jada is. What did Jada do that was cut? She she hollered at her son. She yelled at her son. I think she just had to look, and she just she just fit right in. She did fit right. She's in. like facial featured, like she looked like she grew up in the hood, yeah. been around, like she like she been chilling with Kane in there for a minute. Yeah, know how to get down? Kane, yeah, 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 she knew how to yeah. get down. That's her vibe. I'm gonna also say this though. You think Jada? Oh, keep going. Halle Berry was in a, a James Bond movie, Die Another Day. Okay. I don't think Jada Pinkett could be in that. She can't be saved by a white man. No, her and Blair were cute. And yeah, <laughs> she can't do that. She can't do that. Holly Berry can get saved by a white man. Okay. She can be a damsel in distress. Yeah. Can Jada be a damsel in distress? I don't know. She's kind of Not tough. in like a non-comedic way. It has to be. It had to be funny. Yeah, it would have to be funny. Yeah. Where she can joke back. But yeah. Just being there kind of like, I need saving. Like, I don't know what's going on. She's not going to be aloof. She's going to be smart in like whatever yeah. she plays. Literally. She's so. kind of aware. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all different, but they're like. Yeah. Holly Berry was also. Holly, Holly Berry was in Boomerang. Was in great movies. She was in Babs. I don't think. Cause Jada, Jada couldn't be Babs. She couldn't. She, I haven't seen Babs. Uh, it's on my list. I, she couldn't. I don't think she could. If you don't think she could, then she can't. I mm-hmm. mean, that's just the truth. Because it's just Halle, Halle Berry is very fun and like you know Funny. what I'm saying. Yeah, like she, she like she's like that real. She could be a girl next door. She could be all American girl. The she girl next be, door. That's what Holly Berry is. Like that black girl. That's next a black door, girl. Like, yeah. yeah, she could fit in. Pocket. She'd be a crackhead. She was a crackhead in Jungle Feet. She was, Halle Berry was a crackhead. Oh my god! Literally. Jada Pinkett Smith ain't playing no crackhead, bro. She's not playing no crackhead. How they gonna do it? She's gonna be a crackhead. She's gonna be a nine one one operator. She and I, be with a... you saying nine one one operator, I just want to actually stand <laughs> on that. She's that actually was... in two movies where she's kind of in that role, saving like, somebody a child, saving somebody, and just be. That's hard. Yeah. She was also was she not in that movie with Denzel Washington with? I know what you're talking about. Deja vu. Oh. I don't know. Actually, I checked. I don't see that on the list, but I. I guess I'm wrong. I brought it up for nothing, but which one with Denzel? That's the one you're talking about. Or are you talking That's about? You like go back in time on some crazy. Oh, shit. I, don't know, I, don't know. I thought you were talking about John Q. Because the girl in the beginning of John Q looks like Halle Berry. Oh no? wow, I can't remember. I gotta watch John Q. I ain't watched John Q since like 2013. John Q one of the ones. So who do you have between Jada and Halle Berry? Because you gave Halle Berry some praise. I no, I'm for sure. I'm picking Jada Pinkett. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ass backwards. Pe- a different world, men's society, a low down dirty shame, set it off, girl strip, five heavy hitters. Are you kidding that me? That is a movie run. Kev, what? But I feel like out of two of those three, Halle Berry <laughs> can be in those three. Which one? Which one you see Halle Berry in? She can be in what? She was on an episode of a different world. She was on an episode. She played Ron's girlfriend. She can be in Girl Strip. She couldn't play Jada's character. She can't. She couldn't play Jada's character. <laughs> and what what y'all doing? Maybe maybe a low down dirty shame. I haven't seen that. It's oh, great. With Keenan Ivory Wayans. So Wayans, you gotta I watch. I don't think Jada can even really want to touch Holly and some of the shit that she doing. Catwoman is so that's commercial. I'll give you the commercial stuff. Jada got commercials. She got Matrix. But Holly can be in the Matrix. She can. She can. She can. <laughs> Jada can't do Perfect Stranger. I haven't seen it. What's it about? Uh, or who's in it, rather? Bruce Willis. Okay, you know, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, come on, man. And she was in a Spider-Man movie. Who? Holly Berry. Which one? Spider-Man Once Upon a Time. Oh. Or Once Upon a Time. Is that what Toby, is there with Andrew? Once Upon a Time. I don't know. The only Spider-Man I've really seen is the one with Toby McGuire. That's fine. That's my Holly Berry could have been in that. Mary Jane? Yes. They're too old. She's like, their ages are too different. Yeah, but she could have did it. For sure. 
stand on this i'm a holly berry stand at this no i can i can tell (laughs) the more i think about i love that black woman for sure mary jane paul i'm paul i thought of the girl from i thought of gabrielle union and being mary jane that's not the one Uh, (laughs) jesus you i mean if you say so you 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 know better i'm going for holly berry yeah yeah okay competition in this versus we yeah we we tied with will and idris we going who you going with you idris okay yeah we're going with idris and then jada and Hallie. i'm going with jada he going with Hallie. i i give you that that was that's a comp. It's competition though. There, it, it's a work. We we knock in. I w- I really want to hear what y'all had to say in this competition mm, between Idris know. and Will. Please let us know. And then Holly and Jada. Who you picking? Please let us know. Let us know. Please. Like, I'm Twitter, really Facebook. curious. I love know. I love all four actors and actresses. Yeah. All of them are phenomenal. But I want to know what y'all are thinking. Yeah. I want to know what's in your head. Who you coming up with? Who do you think? You know. I mean, Jada Pinkett, Holly Berry. Idris Elba, Will Smith. I mean, it's a crazy. It's a crazy run. It's a crazy stretch. The, that's what. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter who you pick. You gonna have something good to watch, regardless. Between those four people, the TV shows and movies mm. are just. We're probably at like 175 movies, even more than Credits that. Credits long between, especially Will and Halley. The stuff that I want to watch. <sighs> well, I'm taking Idris Woo! and Halley. Halley, Halley. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. You know, you know when she sued Hurricane Chris back in the day for that song? I think she like it now. I think if Hurricane Chris dropped Halle Berry, like present day, Halle Berry would be eating it up. She'll probably sue him again. You know what I'm saying? No, but do you see how she be, she be on Twitter? She be, she with the shit. She a little hip now. She yeah. with the shit. Yeah, that's yeah, my girl. That's my Halle girl. Berry, she, she right. Hurricane Chris, do a remake. Bring it back. Some. Yeah. Some. So, Kev, before we go. Before we go, what it is? No, I'm a, you know every episode we like to do, we like we like to play. What movie is this? So I got three quotes for you today. Three quotes. Three quotes from three black movies. Ah, you seen all three of these? All right, okay. You seen all three? All right, just come on, man. I'm gonna go from. I'm gonna go from. You might get it, so you might not. Okay. Okay. So the first quote, tell me who it is and what movie. All right. Blank told me to sit here and make sure nobody goes upstairs because his parents just got new carpet right and um he house party yeah <laughs> I was who said it sydney yeah Teach your tail. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gotta. okay 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 so i knew that shit we're gonna go to another yeah, you. one we're gonna go to another one okay come on hit me and if hit you're me. looking for some fine asses you need to keep looking but if you keep if you're looking for holes with bullet holes, cigarette burns, and stab rooms, you in the right damn spot. Hit me one more time. Go ahead, say it again. Now if you're looking for some fine you asses, nephew? now if you okay, now if you. now if you're looking for some fine asses, you need to keep on looking. But if you're looking for the holes with the bullet holes, cigarette burns, and stab wounds, you in the right damn spot. This doesn't happen to be. Mm. ATL is it? Oh man! No, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta give you a hit of that, go like. I know, yeah. Damn. Yeah, wait. I'm mad. It's a man saying it. Okay. Ah. Um, it's a man with black man, of course. Black man. We're at a party or something. Ooh, okay, okay. Get warm. Say that off. Say that off. What does that mean? No, that has nothing to do with No. This isn't. Okay, wait. Uh, I thought like, you yeah, he gonna just guess it. Okay, you seen the movie this week. This week? Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm mad. Who it's Burgers it? Club. Yeah, who says it? Jamie Foxx. Yeah, we, DJ Blue. Yeah. <laughs> and just to be fair, I just watched this movie recently. I've seen it years yes, ago. Yes. Like, like, this wasn't a refresh. Like, he just put it on and I got over here. Yeah. I've been seeing this movie hella times. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite movies. I actually did a report on Players Club junior year in college. What was the report on, Kay? I can find the paper. I can't remember what the, what the, what the theme was. But I just remember watching Players Club and talking about, like, strip club culture. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like that. Yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> from, from the movie. You've seen the movie, yeah. Like, you see uh, Players Club, you know, like, they fighting in there. They rooting it's rooting. Rooting, rooting, tooting. You feel me? All right, last one. Now this is gonna be this is um you gonna be like what the hell you gonna think it's the obvious choice it's not it's one okay right I don't care okay here we go yeah you last quote okay weed is universal they won't race that don't smoke good and that's the thing ain't that 
Next Friday? No, I man, I told you, man, it's the thing. I get here right now, I ain't none of the Fridays. We is universal. I'll do the motion he did. We is universal. Name one race that don't smoke bud. Okay, he driving while he doing Man, it's society. No. Ah! <laughs> I'm thinking Ajax. No. No. Damn. We is universal. They, dri- they driving. They driving. Uh, you like this movie. It's an it's a old 90s and you like this movie. Ain't no killing going on, didn't it? The what? Who said it? <laughs> Boom shakalaka. Who said it? It's not Mike. No. They wouldn't even. It's, um, what's that thing with the R name? What? Who said it? Is it, uh. Not even smoking weed, bro. Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was, I could have did way better. You could have. No, you, you don't, know, don't. Don't. Don't worry about it. I honestly think we should kind of wrap it up right there. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Enjoy the Show. Come back next week. More movie talk, TV talk, blackness, 24 7. Come back, stay around, never leave. Have a smile, not a frown. If you love it, put it down. This is the film culture with Enjoy the Show. We see y'all love later. talking to y'all every time. Mm-hmm. Eyes are trying to cut me off. I don't know why she's trying to get me out of here. Nah. I guess it's late night in the studio. I don't know what to tell you guys. But hey, please come back for the next one. Keep coming around. We love you. See ya. Peace. See ya later. Peace from the Middle East. Blessings from the West. I made that up myself for the second half. Okay, bye. <laughs>